I think we at the IMF, we're convinced there can be growth again. We think Europe is on the right adjustment path. We have to remember we've been through a very deep downturn and we understand fully there is a concern about whether we can go back to previous areas of higher growth. But I think what it requires is that politicians keep on the reform path, keep at their efforts, particularly at the national levels, because there are countries which are, are facing very severe contractions, and there we think the reform efforts will need to be strengthened. That ultimately, it's economic growth that will generate more jobs, including for young people. And for that, there's a whole range of issues that we're addressing, including the European policymakers are addressing, particularly the area of allowing credit to flow to enterprises so they can employ more people. Okay. And that's, this is to do with making sure the financial markets are working properly and banks are performing the function they are meant to. What we need, and the European officials are fully on board on this, they are about to embark on an exercise to assess the quality of banks' capital. And in that exercise, they will be able to identify where there are capital needs. But the really important thing to emphasize is that those capital needs are not going to come from the taxpayer only. They're going to come from first, from private shareholders, from private capital markets, from private investors. And only as a last resort will there be a need for public sector money, but in very limited scale. So the whole exercise is designed to make sure that the taxpayers' investment in banks is limited. How will the banking union help? If we can get borrowing rates down in the periphery, we can get households and corporations to, to borrow at more reasonable rates, that would strengthen their balance sheets, that would allow them to grow. That would also, by the way, strengthen the public sector's finances. Okay? So that actually helps fiscal consolidation.